Across Australia's Great Barrier Reef, the coral is turning a ghostly white. They are under heat stress from record-breaking temperatures, causing them to expel the colorful algae that live in their tissues, exposing their white skeletons. Bleaching events like this have been recorded across the entire 2,000-kilometer reef. And scientists hope this hovering robot can tell them more. We're in the midst of another mass coral bleaching event right now, which means the Great Barrier Reef is at threat from climate change, and that's why Ames is investing heavily in trying to expand our monitoring systems to be able to collect the data that decision makers need to be informed. This is Hydrus. It's an autonomous drone using artificial intelligence. And scientists are using it to collect data on changes to the reef, a task usually conducted by dive teams. Our teams can only see so much and go so far, and that's where we've had to augment our survey methods to include the use of robotics, just to enable us to scale, to go deeper, to operate in areas where predators like crocodiles and bull sharks and jellyfish now routinely reside. The drone can go as deep as 3,000 meters underwater for up to three hours, capturing high-definition 4K video and analyzing it at the same time. The technology is being used to build 3D maps of the reef, and eventually, a digital twin. One of the benefits of having a robotic system is that it goes back to that same location every single time, and it takes the same photo from the same orientation every single time, which is really, really difficult to achieve with a human diver. Obviously with divers, there's kind of the, the human effect where they, they're close, but they're not quite in the exact same space, whereas a robot will do this, the same thing every single time. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest living structure on Earth and home for more than 9,000 species of marine life. Bleached reefs can recover, but that requires ocean temperatures to cool, something scientists do not expect anytime soon. Documenting the damage and the growth of the reef will go a long way in helping scientists preserve this underwater ecosystem and return the color to the ghostly graveyard. Delphine Chen and Harrell Hughes for Taiwan Plus.